So before uh, extracting the uh, study area, it is better to do some post classification correction. So uh, see that uh, certain areas are here are uh, just uh, urban areas or rocks are mixed with barren land or vice versa. So uh, we see here we can see that this area is considered as rocks. Meanwhile, they are. Uh, they belong to uh, urban area uh, and I need to open uh, my training sample no uh, this one I guess this was so yes this is my last uh, file for training samples and it is better to add some new files for instance uh, these are all can be considered as barren land i guess even this areas this areas as well so i just control shift merge them and merge with uh, uh, barren land class so now it's merged uh, well uh, rocks and barren lands uh, have different uh, slightly different uh, inclination towards erosion uh, but they have very close similar classification uh, signature so these are uh, considered as glaciers but these uh, areas are waters but they uh, this uh, river river streams are close to uh, glaciers when it comes to erosion because they all disappear uh, and throughout the season throughout the year and therefore uh, cause erosion processes so they have the same importance level so uh, I will leave it the uh, same meanwhile this lake doesn't disappear therefore uh, it has totally different effect to erosion so uh, probably I need to collect some more samples for urban area So these are all urban areas, but you see that it's mixed with vegetation. Therefore, it has slightly different uh, spectral signature uh, comparing to just true construction sites. So I collected more classes and I at first I will merge them and later on and I will merge with urban. So again uh, I go to classification, interaction classification. So it's creating classification and now I can compare again well slightly better I think that my classification slightly improved you can go again to image analysis choose this uh, image and use swipe tool in order to compare so I go and remove this shape files so I think it better it became better so it's now slightly better uh, class but still uh, some areas are which considered either are rocks or 
rocks and urban areas or urban areas mixed with uh, vegetation are still classified as glaciers but they have the, almost the same close impact to erosion rate same I would say weight when it comes to erosion therefore uh, okay I will leave it the same and the next step will be to cut my study area so this is my study area and I go to uh, arc toolbox spatial analysis tools uh, extraction and extract by mask I will choose my um, so this is my last file right I can just delete it this one it's my last file and input raster and for input raster or future mass data I will choose my study area um, study area class classification and don't forget to write the extension and choose OK so now it's cutting my study area from the general image so now it's ready my land cover area is ready uh, so I think that it is not bad classification I presume that the accuracy rate of this classification is 70-75% which is quite good for this large area so I can even check the attribute table the classes remain the same and we will use it during the weighted overlay so uh, of course if you f are familiar with Airdust Imagine uh, which is a powerful remote sensing software it is better to make a classification there but it's not within the scope of the extent of this re, uh, this course but uh, you, if you're familiar with Airdust Imagine it's always more suited to create more accurate classification rather than ArcGIS hey guys if you like the video please consider supporting the channel by purchasing online courses via my Udemy's profile JS Lab here you can find multiple courses regarding JS remote sensing the link to the profile is below